really not, not a good idea right now. Anyways, one other thing I'd like to incorporate on our sub is something that a lot of people don't like to do. But for this, I think it would be pretty cool. I want to throw in a saturator. And what this saturator is going to do, it's going to go before the auto filter and we're going to try and get this sub as dirty as we can with minimal distortion. Okay, so now that we have the effects, it's time to throw it after the auto filter. Make sure soft clip is turned on and take the drive back a lot because once we have the frequencies selected and it starts to affect it and we notice that we can't hear anything, that's because it's going above this range. So what we need to do is throw on another auto filter after this. So I did option, held that down, and just threw it after the saturator. What I'm going to do is slowly reveal what's it, what the uh, frequencies are doing. So since it's messing with the frequencies that far out, I'm going to take off the auto filter and I'm going to throw on my multi-dynamic compressor. So it's a multi-band. And I'm going to solo the low, but for the low, I want to see how far out we can get this distorted signal to push with the low hertz. Sorry about that. I was trying to get a little bit more water into my system. So anyways, as you can hear, what it's doing is that it's really pushing out these distorted uh, low signals um, to 120 hertz. It's still going to cap the lower signals at 60 hertz. But since we added so much drive to this, it's going to boost these signals past this point and give it a little bit of fatness to the saturator, but it's still going to cap it at 120 hertz. So when this starts to rise, it's going to boost through our other signals, meaning that it's not going to money up the mix because it's such a short dynamic snap that it's going to basically give the music a little bit more rise. It's a little bit different in that sense.
You could still hear the drums and the percussion click in the background. That was perfect. So for the warm drone and the warm pad, do we do anything with the warm pad? We do. We do these like little blips. So I'll we'll focus on one of these little blips for like a clip. Command L to do that. I'm going to solo this. And I'm going to let this play, but yeah. I'm going to basically throw on a little bit more extraness to this. So auto pan. Set the amount to probably about 55 or 60. So I'm also going to set the phase a little off kilter, so about 130. And the shape, I'm going to make this a little bit more harsh. So I'll probably set this to 30%. Okay. That's kind of what we did for the warm pad to give it some more oomph. The final thing we need to do is for our warm drone, since this is pretty much dialed in with the filter and it's already compressed, I'm going to go over to my box, my base tab, and my jive tab real quick. I'm going to solo these. And for my box, I'm basically going to compress this and remove some of the higher frequencies and give it a little bit more compression. Same thing with the bass and the jive stab. So let's get on with this right now. Give it about 6 milliseconds for the attack on the retrig. You can retrig this if you want, but it's... I don't know. Let's see what this does. I like the retrig off, so that'll work. Going to remove this higher, so about 3... Let's put it at 500. And the compressor is nice at 2, at negative 20. So let's go on over to the, oh, I'm sorry, we forgot to do one other thing that is to throw on a ping pong delay. And what I'm going to do is basically do subtle variations. So I'm going to set this to probably about 20%. And the dry wet, I'm going to set this to about 20% as well. It kind of makes these clicks in the background, those short stabs, kind of more of a rhythmic punch. So that's pretty cool. Now to the bass stab. I'm going to go over to my auto filter, throw it on before the compressor, and throw it on a high pass. And I'm going to take this probably about, about 150 or 220, set the Q about 110. And I'm going to throw on a little bit of the LFO variation so we can get more pumping action. I want to take the phase all the way to zero. So that way it only pumps one signal instead of the left and right cha uh, channels. So. Okay, it's very minor, but I set the 22 for the amount, or 23, the rate at 1 12th, and the envelope at 20, or 18. I'm going to throw on a, another, I'm going to use the same ping pong delay, so I'm going to hold, I'm going to go into my box 1, hold the ping pong, and hold down alt or option, and drag it over to base. If you don't have alt or option, I guess that's also control as well. So let's see how this sounds. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I was actually messing around with the Vox instead. So I'm going to bring this down to about 50 hertz or so. Bring down my compressor more. Take this back up to about 220. It kind of creates this warbled punch. I like that a lot, so I'm going to throw my ratio more and my output a little bit more. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go over to my jive stab now, throw in an auto filter, a compressor. Set the auto filter on a high pass. I'm going to set this to probably about 550. Throw in the compressor to negative 20. And we're also going to use the same delay technique that we used on the others. Set that before. Now let's have a listen to this jive stab. Okay, if you want, you can put it on 4 turn the dry wet up to about 42 and the feedback let's see what settings work for the feedback so about 40 percent the dry wet i think i'll take that to about 35 percent and that works for me and there you guys have it you're pretty much finalized settings for your instruments. I'll see you guys tomorrow in day seven for different variations and a lot of the cleaning up and drops to really finalize this deep house. Thanks for joining me and I'll check you guys out tomorrow. Have a nice, a very sweet flipping day. Peace. Hey everyone, it's Jordan, also known as X-3. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. And I want to show you I'm not just a voice behind a computer. I'm a real noodle, uh, goofy guy. So, yeah, um, there's going to be some new changes towards a finalized schedule. And there's going to be a theme going for each day of the week. And it's going to continue. So um, that's going to be a basic schedule. And there's going to be more videos stacked on top. It's a whole thing. Anyways, if you want to get updates on this, I post a lot of new upcoming updates along with some changes uh, via Tumblr. And that's in the description below. If you want to check out some of my newest sounds and if you want to buy some of my newest sounds, you can check out my ba band if you want to check out my band camp it's uh below and if you want to check out my free sounds on soundcloud you can um but yeah whatever anyways take it easy and i'll check you guys out later you guys are the best and don't change who you are you guys are just awesome i mean that a lot anyways yeah take care stay safe and be awesome Peace.